Speaking of literature, okay, what I'm about to say to you, what I'm about to say to you is very troubling. <laughs> I need you to understand that. I'm about to talk about this man. And apologies to this man, but it's sexualization time. He's not real. He's a video game character, which makes it worse. <laughs> now, I need you guys to ask me, Brittany, have you ever played Call of Duty Modern Warfare in your life? Go ahead and ask me. No, I have not. I have never played Call of Duty. I don't know the plot. I know that it's Call of Duty. I'm assuming that's the military. Modern Warfare. I'm sure it's a bunch of like cool nighttime binoculars and scopes. Whatever. Uh, extended mag. Don't know what that means. Extended mag. Oh, it's a magazine. Okay, so I'm going to be put on a list for fucking Googling gun stuff. Whatever. Idiot. Why did I do that? Anyway, this man, I keep, part of this is like the chicken and the egg, right? Am I the problem because I have spoken out loud with my mouth about having a mask kink? Is this my fault or is, the, is it the internet showing me what I th need to see? What am I liking online to where the TikTok algorithm is like, Oh, she's going to love this one. <laughs> and it puts an edit of Ghost from Call of Duty on my For You page. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I'm literally like <clears throat> eating it up like it's fucking soup. Slurping it and squelching it down my throat. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like when I get to a certain level in, in these podcast episodes where it's like, we know this is about to be horny hour, right? I'm sitting in this chair. I come before you horny. I think it would be so funny if just a, like a red sniper bullet or a red sniper dot just came like, right here and just like leveled on me. And it was kind of like, you need to relax. Like, let's move on. But again, like I said, it's just me in this room, babe. It's just me, myself, and I. Me, myself, and I. It's all I got in the end. Me, myself, and my man. Thank you to my man. Thank you to my man. A ghost fuck up up! It's something about his eyes. Maybe I'm just very mentally ill. Maybe I just need to be shot. <laughs> Maybe I just need to. Oh, God. Oh, oh I got to show you guys some of these edits. Like, what are we talking about? I think it's but the girl won't dance and I pick me a tip about to wet my pants. She got body for days, but the girl won't flown it. Better walk like you want it. Walk like you want it. Walk like you want it, baby. Walk like you want <laughs> All right. Laura, can we add in some like paparazzi? Some paparazzi sounds and some camera flashes. All right. I will be taking one question at this time. Please limit it to one question. I am not taking many questions this time. Yes, you in the red. Why am I attracted to Ghost from Call of Duty? Um, That question isn't allowed. Thank you guys so much for your time today. All right. Get home safe. And then I leave the press conference because that's fucking invasive. Okay? I don't... I think that... Namely, I am very ill, arguably incredibly unwell. And I think that does have something to do with it. Two, chronically online has a lot to do with it. Three, the content is out there, right? I'm just consuming what was made for me. I'm enjoying what's out there to be enjoyed. I love a male physique. I am a slut for a male physique. I am a slut for a man in a uniform when he's got the fucking, oh, and he's got the vest on and he's, you know how men's legs, <laughs> I just farted. <laughs> oh, you know when, you know how I'm
Okay. I have to explain this to you. What do I even Google to show you this? Javier Pena standing from the back. (laughs) (laughs) Oh. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, okay, this is good. Because Pedro Pascal's got them slutty little legs and that slutty little waist and hips. And so when a, when a man stands like that where they kind of like pop their knee out and they rest their hands like right here and their legs are just muscly enough like all the way down, but they've got that tiny little waist. <laughs> I want to like get on all fours and like, I'm the alpha. I'm the alpha. <laughs> We are wolves. That's me. Oh my god. It's that slutty little stance they do. God damn. I am so touch starved. <laughs> I'm so touch starved. For the love of Christ, somebody just volunteer. Just do it. And then I'm going to come on this podcast and be like, I think God is the savior. And I think that eternal life is possible through all that believe. Like, that's going to be me after, like, I just someone fucking touch me for the love of all that is holy. For everyone's well-being. Anyway. Ghost. Back to it, dude. I have moved forward with, (laughs) I have moved forward with the decision to open AO3 and discover all that the world has to offer via AO3. Now, what is AO3? Some of you may be asking. Archive of our own. Archive of our own. It is a fan fiction website. Not for the faint of heart. Not for the faint of heart. It's a fan fiction website for the dirtiest minded, most touch starved individuals. But you know what's funny is like, it's not. Because some of the, some of the most well-written fan fictions I've ever read in my life have been written by married women who are sitting on the couch typing it with their husband on the couch with them watching television. They are just so inspired. I don't know what it is, dude. I don't know what it is, but it's like, it's just women. And it's so good. And so I knew that starting on this, um, starting on this ghost, just death spiral, because I know what comes next, right? Like when you saw, I know what fucking comes next and you know what makes it worse. He's not real. So guess where I, guess where I fucking landed last night? Ghost cosplayers. Oh, fuck you. Fuck off. I'm at my lowest. I'm at my lowest low. <laughs> I have never. This is my rock bottom. Ghost cosplayers. I just farted again. Ghost cosplayers. <laughs> I am a victim. I'm a victim. I'm like really embarrassed. <laughs> I don't want to. I think I'm done with this episode. <laughs> I'm, feel, I'm feeling like maybe we need to end the episode because <laughs> it's over. It's over. Getting red right in the face. I'm hot. My face just got hot. <clears throat> I don't even know. Like, if I were to bring this up to my therapist, I don't even know what to say. How do you even approach the subject? So there's, so there's this guy, ghost from Call of Duty Modern Warfare. (laughs) Oh, he's cute. Terrifying. What is going on? Anyway, I read this fan fiction last night that gave me my life. I was like, I finished it and I had to be like, God. Jesus. 
I need to go get some ice water. Dunk my head in it. Christ. It was so horny. It was so hot. Ghost? Ghost got my head! No! No, no, no! Put the Nicholas Cage bit up here again. No! Not the bees! <laughs> Oh, my life is just like not. If I worked a nine to five, I would not be like this, dude. That's a lie. Just lied. Caught myself in a lie. If I worked a nine to five, I wouldn't have the time to lay in bed and watch two hours of ghost edits on TikTok and then proceed to go into AO3 and read another three fan fictions of ghosts for the next hour. That is not right. It's not well. You're not okay. Figure it out. Like, what the fuck? Okay. I'm going to end this episode because I've fully bared my soul. And I can only do that for so long. I can only really give y'all so much.